Have you ever stopped to think about what really happens when the Holy Spirit enters the life of a believer? Many believe it's just an emotional change or a simple behavior adjustment, but the truth goes far beyond that. The presence of the Holy Spirit brings transformations that most people can't even imagine. And the most surprising part, these changes happen in such a powerful way that they transform your entire way of living, thinking, and even relating to others. If you're tired of living a superficial faith, maybe it's time to learn about the 11 incredible things the Holy Spirit can do in your life. Some of these transformations are completely counterintuitive. You might not expect what you'll discover here, but one thing is certain, they are the key to a true and deep Christianity. Did you know, for example, that the Spirit can empower you to face any fear, give you indescribable joy in serving, and even transform your way of praying in a way you never imagined? If you want to know how to live with more purpose, power, and a real divine connection, keep reading. These 11 truths are not just theories. They are practical experiences that can radically change your life. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to wake up every day with unwavering confidence in your salvation or feel an irresistible passion for sharing the Word of God? Get ready to dive into these revelations and discover how the Holy Spirit can change everything. Are you ready to see your faith in a new light, overcoming fears and anxieties? When the Holy Spirit enters our lives, He brings a courage that defies all human logic. What used to consume us with fear and anxiety starts to lose control. Think about the last time you felt completely paralyzed by something. Perhaps it was an important decision, a financial crisis, or even a health issue. With prayer and trust in God, that sense of dread is replaced by a peace that only the Holy Spirit can offer. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1.7 Have you experienced this? The divine connection that forms when we surrender our fears to the Spirit is transformative. By placing our faith in Jesus, we stop fighting alone and start feeling the invisible but real support of God Himself. A practical example is continuous prayer. Setting aside moments in your day to talk to God, even fasting, helps put anxieties into perspective. When we recognize that the Lord is in control, worries about money, for example, lose their power over us. How could this change the way you face your financial challenges? Along the way, we see that the Holy Spirit also teaches us to redirect our thoughts. Imagine if, instead of focusing on problems, you started concentrating on divine promises the Bible is full of verses that strengthen us to face moments of anxiety. Reading and reflecting on these words is like armor for the heart. How about starting with Philippians 4, 6, 7? No matter the situation, God's Word offers comfort in times of uncertainty. What do you usually do to calm yourself in moments of greatest tension? There's something almost magical in knowing that, when facing our fears, we are not alone. Have you ever thought about how, by allowing the Holy Spirit to guide your decisions, you can face situations that once made you retreat? Many report that the act of surrendering their anxieties to God through prayer and faith becomes a turning point. The trust placed in Jesus gives us the serenity to keep going, even when the path is uncertain. Have you had this experience of overcoming in your life? This process of overcoming fears and anxieties also generates a profound inner transformation. The Holy Spirit works constantly, shaping our character so that we not only face fear, but dominate it. God's presence in our daily lives reminds us that true peace comes from Him. Fasting and prayer can be powerful tools to strengthen this trust. And remember, the more we connect with the Holy Spirit, the closer we come to a life free from the shackles of anxiety. And you? How has the Holy Spirit helped you face your fears? Comment below and share your experience. Desire for spiritual growth. When the Holy Spirit enters our lives, He plants in us an insatiable desire for spiritual growth. 
It's like a fire is lit within us, driving us to know more about God, seek His truths in the scriptures, and dive deep into the Christian walk. It's not a superficial or fleeting desire, but something deep and constant. Have you ever found yourself with an inexplicable thirst to understand more about Jesus? This desire is one of the greatest evidences that the Holy Spirit is active, shaping our hearts. This growth doesn't happen by chance. It arises from a continuous practice of prayer, studying the Word, and often fasting. The Bible ceases to be just an ancient book and becomes a living source of revelations. God's promises start to jump off the pages and transform our way of living. You can start this path by setting aside a few minutes daily to meditate on verses that speak of God's greatness, like the Psalms. How about trying to read Psalm 119, the longest chapter in the Bible, and see how it can nourish your spirit? As this spiritual hunger grows, so does the desire to abandon habits that don't reflect Christ's character. The Holy Spirit gently convinces us to leave behind what distances us from God and to move toward holiness. Small actions, like choosing not to participate in malicious conversations or avoiding selfish actions, are results of this desire. This doesn't happen overnight, but the Spirit gradually shapes our character. Have you noticed small changes in your behavior since you began seeking more of God's presence? Another important aspect of this growth is the desire to help others grow as well. When God begins to work in us, we feel the need to share this knowledge with those around us. It could be through a conversation with a friend or even posting on social media about verses that impacted your life. The Spirit guides us to be light for those who have not yet understood the transforming power of Jesus. Have you tried sharing what you've learned about God with someone close to you? The truth is that the closer we get to God, the more we realize how much we still have to learn. This desire for spiritual growth is inexhaustible, a continuous quest that leads us to a greater intimacy with the Father. Every new discovery strengthens us and prepares us to face life's challenges with wisdom and faith. And so we keep growing towards spiritual fullness. And you? Do you feel this fervent desire to draw closer to God and know the depths of faith? Comment below and share your journey. Confidence in salvation. Confidence in salvation is one of the greatest gifts the Holy Spirit can offer us. Waking up every day with the certainty that we are children of God gives us unshakable security, even amidst life's uncertainties. This confidence is something that transcends fleeting feelings and is based on God's eternal promises. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Romans 8.16 Can you imagine living with this assurance daily? When we understand the true meaning of salvation, we are freed from many of the doubts that torment us. The question, am I saved, no longer exists because the Holy Spirit confirms this truth in our hearts. It's not about deserving it or about works, but about divine grace. This conviction gives us the strength to face life's storms, knowing that regardless of what happens, our eternal destiny is secured in Christ. Have you experienced this full confidence in your salvation? However, this certainty doesn't make us passive, but active in our Christian walk. The more we trust in our salvation, the more we desire to live in a way that glorifies God. Prayer, fasting, and studying the Bible become part of our daily lives, not as an obligation, but as a natural response to God's love. We begin to see life from a different perspective, knowing that our actions reflect gratitude for all that Jesus has done for us. How has this certainty impacted your daily choices? This confidence also transforms us into living witnesses of God's grace. When we are secure in our salvation, we feel the desire to share this truth with others. Imagine the impact you could have by talking about the peace and security that comes from knowing we are children of God. It could be a casual conversation or even a post on social media, but the Holy Spirit always guides us to be a light. Have you had the opportunity to share your confidence in salvation with someone? 
Living with this unshakable confidence means living free, without the shackles of doubt or fear. The Holy Spirit reminds us daily that we were bought at a high price, and this truth gives us the strength to stay firm, even in the most difficult moments. And you, how have you been living with this confidence in your life? Have you felt the assurance that your salvation is guaranteed in Jesus? Leave your comment below and share your experience. Joy in serving. Serving others is something that in the world's eyes often seems like a burden or an obligation. However, when the Holy Spirit dwells in us, he transforms this act into a source of genuine joy. What once might have seemed like a hard task becomes an opportunity to reflect the love of Jesus in a practical way. Helping someone, whether through a simple gesture or something more significant, becomes a reason for happiness because we know we are doing God's will. Have you experienced this joy in serving? This change in perspective is something only the Holy Spirit can do in us. Suddenly being generous, contributing your time, or even your money stops being a sacrifice and becomes a privilege. There's something special in knowing that God can use our small actions for big purposes. How about committing to helping someone in need this week? Whether it's offering a word of support, financial help, or even dedicating time to listen to someone, these simple gestures make all the difference and reflect the transformation the Holy Spirit works in us. Furthermore, this joy in serving is not limited to big actions. Often, it's in the everyday, in the small opportunities to serve, where we find the most fulfillment. Things like helping a co-worker, serving your family with love, or even being more patient in traffic can be reflections of this transformation. God calls us to serve wherever we are. How have you noticed daily opportunities to serve those around you? Another important aspect is that service is not for our own glory, but to reflect the character of Jesus. The Bible reminds us in Matthew 20, 28, that Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. When we understand this, we begin to see that every act of service is, in fact, a way to glorify God. Have you ever stopped to think that by helping someone, you are being an extension of Christ's love on earth? This joy in serving, therefore, is a clear evidence of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives. He equips us and moves us to act with compassion and selflessness, always with a heart turned toward the good of others. And each time we serve, we grow more in our Christian walk as we reflect the image of Jesus. And you, have you felt this inexplicable joy in serving someone? Share in the comments how the Holy Spirit has guided you to serve better. Transformation of Character the transformation of character is one of the deepest works that the Holy Spirit performs in a Christian's life. Over time, we begin to see subtle but powerful changes in our thoughts, words and actions. What once seemed natural, like anger, impatience or selfishness, begins to lose ground as the Holy Spirit molds our character to reflect that of Jesus. In Galatians 5, 23 the Apostle Paul describes the fruit of the Spirit, which includes love, joy, peace, patience, and self-control. Have you noticed these changes in your life? The most incredible thing is that this transformation doesn't happen all at once, but gradually, like a gardener who carefully tends each plant with patience and dedication. The Holy Spirit works in us, helping us to cultivate these virtues. For example, when we feel the temptation to react with anger, He gives us the strength to choose peace. When we are tested in patience, the Spirit reminds us of Christ's long-suffering, and so, little by little, we begin to see a new character bloom in us. How have you noticed this transformation in your daily life? Often the people around us are the first to notice these changes. Maybe a co-worker has commented that you seem calmer, or a family member has noticed your generosity. This happens because the character transformation brought by the Spirit is visible, and these changes, however small they may seem, directly impact those who live with us. A good exercise is to ask God to reveal the areas where you still need to grow. What do you think about praying for more patience, love or self-control today? 
It's important to remember that this transformation doesn't mean we become perfect. We all have flaws and face struggles, but the difference is that now we have the help of the Holy Spirit to overcome these daily battles. When we fall, He lifts us up. When we make mistakes, He lovingly corrects us. And so each small step brings us closer to the character of Christ. Can you identify a recent moment when the Holy Spirit helped you act differently? As this transformation takes place, we become living examples of the power of God in action. Our lives begin to reflect the fruits of the Spirit, and the people around us notice that something in us is different. This change in character is, in fact, a testimony of God's presence in our lives. And, as always, this leads us to desire more of Him, to seek more of His presence through prayer and fasting. Have you seen how this transformation in your character has influenced the people around you? Comment below and share your experiences. Passion and power to evangelize. When the Holy Spirit clothes us, He gives us extraordinary power and passion to share the gospel. It's not something that comes from ourselves, but a force that comes directly from God. Remember Acts 1.8, where Jesus promises that we will be His witnesses after receiving the Holy Spirit. This verse becomes a reality when we feel an almost irresistible fervor to talk about Jesus to everyone. Have you felt this burning passion to share the message of Christ? Evangelizing can often seem like a challenge, especially when we think about people's reactions. However, the Holy Spirit gives us courage and wisdom to speak, even when we feel unprepared. Imagine being in a casual conversation with a co-worker or neighbor, and suddenly the perfect opportunity arises to talk about God's love. This opportunity could be a key moment to transform that person's life. How about starting simply by sharing a verse that touched your heart? Trust me, the Holy Spirit will guide your words. Moreover, this passion for evangelizing makes us see the world differently. The people around us stop being just faces in the crowd and become precious souls loved by God. The Holy Spirit gives us deep empathy for those who don't yet know Jesus, and this compassion drives us to act. A practical example could be starting a small Bible study group or even praying for those who don't know Christ. How could you start evangelizing more intentionally in your daily life? Another interesting point is that the Holy Spirit doesn't leave us to evangelize alone. Not only does He give us the words, but He also touches the heart of the person who is listening. This means that even if you feel insecure or think you don't know what to say, the Holy Spirit is working on the other side. This thought gives us tremendous peace because we know we don't depend on our own ability. Have you noticed how God works through you in moments of evangelism? Evangelizing is a mission given to all of us, but with the Holy Spirit, this mission becomes an adventure filled with purpose. He moves us to be light where there is darkness, to bring the hope of Jesus to a desperate world. Fasting and prayer are powerful tools that strengthen and align us with God's will in this process, and this passion for evangelizing is yet another evidence of the Holy Spirit in action. Have you felt this burning call to share the gospel? Leave your comment below and tell how your experience has been. Transformed Prayer Life one of the greatest changes the Holy Spirit brings into our lives is in our way of praying. Before, prayer might have seemed mechanical or even an obligation. But when the Holy Spirit is present, our prayer life is transformed. Words flow with more depth, the heart connects directly with God, and prayer becomes an intimate conversation with the Father. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us, Romans 8, 26. Have you noticed this transformation in your life? Praying then becomes an act of pleasure, not a burden. Those moments when we seek God's presence cease to be just about requests and pleas and become moments of communion and divine connection. Prayer led by the Holy Spirit takes us to deeper levels of intimacy with Jesus. One example of this could be the practice of setting aside specific time daily to pray, free from distractions, perhaps at dawn, before starting the day. Have you tried doing this? What difference have you noticed? 
Additionally, the Holy Spirit inspires us to pray with more fervor and purpose. Before, perhaps, we prayed more superficially, but when He guides us, we start praying for things we would never have imagined. He places prayers in our hearts for situations, people, and even nations. It's as if prayer stops being restricted to our immediate needs and expands to the divine plan. What do you think about making a list of people and situations to pray for regularly? The Spirit can guide you to intercede more effectively. Another important point is that the Holy Spirit also teaches us to listen during prayer. Often we are so focused on speaking that we forget to stop and listen to what God has to say. He gives us discernment to recognize His voice, whether through inner peace, a clear idea, or even a Bible passage that speaks to our hearts. This aspect transforms prayer into a two-way street where we not only talk to God, but also hear His guidance. And you, have you felt this direction from the Spirit during your prayer moments? Over time, prayer life becomes the foundation of our entire spiritual walk. Fasting, for instance, can intensify this experience as it helps us focus even more on what God wants to show us. The transformation that the Holy Spirit brings to our prayer life connects us more deeply with God's will and strengthens us for daily challenges. And you? How has your experience of prayer with the Holy Spirit been? Have you felt this transformation? Comment below. Deep love for Jesus. The Holy Spirit, when He enters our lives, ignites in us a deep and unshakable love for Jesus. This love is not just a fleeting emotion, but something that transforms the way we live, think, and act. In Romans 5, 5, we see that God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, talking about Jesus, worshiping Him, and seeking Him become natural priorities in our lives. Have you ever felt such intense love that it seemed impossible to contain? This love is so deep that it moves us to put Jesus first in all areas of our lives. This means that the decisions we make, whether financial, professional, or family-related, are guided by what pleases God. As our love for Jesus grows, we set aside our selfish desires and seek His will more. How about, for example, setting aside daily moments to meditate on the Word, to further nurture this relationship with Him? Have you thought about how this could transform your daily life? Moreover, this love for Jesus transforms how we relate to others. When we are filled with this love, we begin to treat others with more patience, compassion, and generosity, reflecting the character of Christ. This love extends even to those who have hurt us, for the Holy Spirit enables us to forgive and love as Jesus loved. What incredible example of love for others could you show today? Perhaps a simple word of encouragement or practical help is all someone near you needs. As this love grows, we realize that our lives don't make sense without Jesus. Talking about Him becomes something natural no matter where we are. This love drives us to share the good news with others, not out of obligation, but because we can't keep to ourselves what He has done in our lives. Instead of just praying, how about starting to share your faith with friends and family? You'd be surprised at the impact it can have. This deep love for Jesus is undoubtedly a clear mark of the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. He fills us with a burning desire to please God and live according to His will. And the more we connect with this love, the more we want to seek His presence through prayer, fasting, and studying the Word. And you, how have you felt this love for Jesus growing in your heart? Comment below and share how it has impacted your life. Speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is one of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit's power that generates much curiosity and at the same time, profound spiritual significance. At Pentecost, as described in Acts 2, the disciples spoke in other languages, signaling the Spirit's presence in their lives. This gift, as described in 1 Corinthians 14, 2, is a form of direct communication with God, a spiritual language that goes beyond human understanding. But more important than the gift itself is the transformation it brings to the life of those who experience it. Have you had this experience in your prayer life? 
For those who have spoken in tongues, the feeling is of a very deep divine connection. It's as if the Holy Spirit intercedes directly for you, translating your feelings and prayers in a way that only God can understand. This practice is often accompanied by a great sense of peace and spiritual relief. It's not something you force or learn, but something that flows naturally through the action of the Spirit. And even if you've never experienced this gift, that doesn't mean the Spirit isn't working powerfully in your life. How about asking God to guide you in all the ways of communicating with Him? The gift of speaking in tongues is often misunderstood, but it's important to remember that it's not the only sign of the Holy Spirit's presence. The true evidence of the Spirit in our lives is reflected in the fruit we produce, such as love, peace, patience, and self-control, as we saw in Galatians 5, 22, 23. Speaking in tongues is a blessing, but living a life transformed by God's power is the greatest proof that the Holy Spirit is active in you. Have you noticed this transformation in other areas of your life? Speaking in tongues, besides being a personal gift, can also edify the church. When accompanied by interpretation, as taught by Paul, it can bring a powerful message to the faith community. This gift, when used correctly, unites the body of Christ and glorifies God in extraordinary ways. If you've already experienced or desire to experience this gift, the most important thing is to always be open to what the Holy Spirit wants to do in your life. And you? Have you had the opportunity to witness or experience the power of this spiritual gift? Whether or not you have the gift of speaking in tongues, what really matters is that the Holy Spirit is present, guiding and shaping your life. He enables us to serve, to love, and to live in a way that pleases God. The gift of tongues may be a powerful manifestation, but the true essence is in how we live daily to reflect God's glory. And you? How have you sought to grow in your connection with the Holy Spirit? Share your experience in the comments. Comfort. In times of pain and suffering, the Holy Spirit reveals Himself as our Comforter, fulfilling Jesus' promise in John 14, 16. When everything seems to be falling apart around us, He is the one who gives us an inexplicable peace, a relief that can only come from God. Imagine yourself in a situation of loss or in the middle of a deep crisis. It's in these moments that we feel the invisible embrace of the Holy Spirit, comforting us with a serenity that defies human logic. Have you felt this comfort in life's storms? This comfort doesn't mean that problems disappear instantly, but He gives us the strength to face them. Through prayer and trust in God, the Holy Spirit renews our hopes. Maybe you're going through financial difficulties or a family crisis. Moments like these deeply challenge us, but the Spirit's comfort reminds us that we are not alone. A good example is praying and meditating on verses that bring peace, such as Psalm 23, which reminds us that the Lord is our shepherd and we lack nothing. The Spirit's role as comforter goes beyond immediate circumstances. He enables us to see beyond the pain, guiding us toward a broader vision of God's purpose for our lives. Often, suffering leads to spiritual growth we wouldn't experience otherwise. Fasting and prayer are practices that help us connect even more with this divine comfort as they bring us closer to God's heart. Have you tried dedicating specific fasting time during pain, seeking the Spirit's comfort? Another aspect of the Holy Spirit's comfort is that He transforms us into comforters for others. When we go through tribulations, and experience God's comfort, we are empowered to offer the same comfort to those who are suffering. Perhaps you know someone facing difficulties right now. How can the Holy Spirit use you to bring a word of encouragement or practical help to that person? Living with the Holy Spirit's comfort means living with the certainty that even in the worst storms, God is present. This comfort is a strength that keeps us standing even when everything seems to pull us down. And as we experience this comfort, we are called to share it with others, being instruments of God's peace. And you? 
Have you experienced the Spirit's comfort during difficult times? Share your experience in the comments. Spiritual Discernment Spiritual discernment is one of the most precious gifts the Holy Spirit gives us. It allows us to distinguish between what is from God and what is not, giving us clarity in moments of uncertainty. In 1 Corinthians 12.10, this gift is mentioned as the ability to discern spirits, helping us make wise decisions and avoid deception. Imagine being faced with a difficult decision, unsure of which path to take. The Holy Spirit, through discernment, guides us safely, illuminating what our natural eyes cannot see. Have you experienced this guidance in your life? This gift manifests in various areas of daily life, from small choices like whom we associate with, to bigger decisions like job opportunities or financial matters, spiritual discernment protects us from wrong paths. A practical example of this is when we feel an inexplicable peace in making a decision, or conversely, a deep discomfort, like a warning sign from the Spirit. In moments like these, praying and consulting the Scriptures is key to confirming this divine direction. Discernment is also crucial to avoid spiritual deception. In a world full of false doctrines and distorted information, the Holy Spirit gives us the ability to see beyond appearances and detect what is true. Remember that Jesus warned us about false prophets, therefore the Spirit helps us identify what aligns with God's Word. Have you found yourself in a situation where you felt something wasn't right spiritually, even when it seemed good in human eyes? Moreover, spiritual discernment also guides us in our interactions with others. Sometimes, God reveals something about someone who needs our help, or even alerts us about people whose intentions aren't the best. This gift helps us be wise in relationships and act with Christ's love without being naive. Fasting and prayer can intensify our spiritual sensitivity, opening our eyes to what is beyond the visible. How has spiritual discernment helped you in your daily decisions? Living with spiritual discernment is living with eyes open to the spiritual reality around us. The Holy Spirit equips us to walk in wisdom, avoiding traps and leading us toward God's will. And as we cultivate this gift, we are able to make decisions more aligned with God's purpose for our lives. And you, how has spiritual discernment impacted your choices? Comment below and share your experiences. Now that you've discovered these 11 incredible things that happen when the Holy Spirit enters a believer's life, what will you do with this knowledge? Knowing this is just the first step. True transformation happens when you begin applying these teachings in your day-to-day -day life. What would your life look like if you decided today to fully surrender to the Holy Spirit's work? Imagine living with more peace, courage and purpose with a character shaped by God. The question that remains is, are you willing to let the Holy Spirit do this work in you? Change begins when you open your heart and surrender, whether through prayer, fasting or seeking God's presence more deeply. Think about the fears you can overcome, the joy you can feel in serving or the new passion that can arise for God's word. How can these 11 transformations impact your life? Have you thought about how this could change everything around you? I want to encourage you to reflect on this and start taking action. Comment below. In which of these areas do you feel you most need the Holy Spirit? And subscribe to the channel to continue following content like this, which will help you grow even more in your faith. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any teachings. And remember, the Holy Spirit is ready to work powerfully in your life. All you need to do is let Him.